What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Demo Snipes here today. We're going to be bringing you guys some strategies for Warhawk 4 on 4 SND. Um, we're going to start off on defense here. We're going to get right into it. There's not going to be a whole lot to this video. We're going to talk about uh, the A side first. Uh, first off, you want to AR right here in this spot, and you want to stay back instead of closer to that barrel here because nades are going to be all over you if they're pushing the A side. And uh, if they do, don't be afraid to push this side if they're not in this building. Make sure you check it first. I know it didn't in the video, but make sure you check that. And make sure you're keeping an eye out here. And if they don't come this side, your job as an AR is to get up in this room. Don't get picked off from a guy watching flank, but you're trying to watch middle and make sure that they don't push on your guys that are rotating over to B. And then you want another AR or possibly a sniper here in the middle this is a good spot for uh, picking up their sniper or AR uh, because you can get a lot of cover in that room and then moving over to B side we have a you want an AR here maybe even a sub here because you can look through that hole we can watch middle and then if he sees somebody he can move over to uh, pick them up if they're called out back here uh, you also want another AR in this doorway garage doorway watching that spot right there because uh, that's a great head glitching spot for the offense and they also can nade really well from there. Moving over to the offensive side of things here on Warhawk 4 on 4 SND. Uh, first we're going to talk about an A push. The A push is uh, kind of difficult because nades are so easy to toss on both sides on defense and offense. This is the best route I think for a uh, sub to take uh, the bomb through the site, um, as you guys know, if you, any of you have watched my other videos, you know that I think the key to offense on SND is a quick plant. If you can get a quick plant, even if it's three on four, you can make a pretty good uh, defensive stand. If not, you can hold them off for a few seconds. So this is a good spot for a mid AR to watch the uh, flank and to try and pick off one of their AR players, especially if you can get a quick plant. This is a great spot to defend from the middle. Also right here in this little cafe thing, uh, it's a great spot to watch from the middle and uh, I don't believe on uh, watching the flank right off the offensive break uh, this is another good spot for maybe the uh, sub that planted we lost the <coughs> to watch the flank there too so that kind of gives you uh, some spots to cover uh, all the A side um, watching flank after you get the bomb down and even before spots to watch so for a B push this is also what I think the best route is as you don't get picked off by a sniper near as easily right there and staying in this room until that initial pick is gotten by your guy back by the barrel I'll show you where that is but you want your uh, smart <coughs> OBJ playing that position right there uh, this is a great spot to watch flank for a B push, this is uh, right off the break. You're watching flank because if they notice you're not pushing A, then uh, they're probably going to push you pretty hard on that flank. And this is another great spot for uh, watching the flank because you can also see the middle gate too. Um, this lets your other guys focus really hard on this side. So if they don't have to worry about the middle and they don't have to worry about the the full flank, then you let your OBJ and a sniper and an AR work these two spots right here. I told you on defense, that's a great spot to nade from, and it is. Because if you can let three guys focus on these two focal points, that fence and that doorway, then you're going to have a real easy time uh, getting that plant down and defending. Especially because the defense either has to rotate back, and even if they do, they're not going to have enough time before you get the bomb down and get a setup quickly. So thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a good one. If you guys like this video more, uh, leave a like. If I can get uh, 10 likes on here, I'll start doing the 2-on-2 uh, two two and 3v3 strats as well. But I have no problem doing the 4-on-4s. Four I love doing these. They're a lot of fun for me. And like I said, if you guys enjoyed it, Leave a like, and thanks for watching. See ya.